Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for around the 7th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up, what do we have for around the 7th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. What do we have for around the 7th? Hangman reversed, Page of Swords, Three of Wands reversed, all done sacrificing, somebody's all done sacrificing themselves uh, for a partnership, feels like they've been reluctant to move on, we have the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords reversed. They've been reluctant to move on. Uh, it feels like they're now they are about to take action. Uh, the magician that's taking action to bring success. We have somebody here that's been struggling with letting go of a partnership. They may have received some information or some insight that uh, they were not prepared for. Uh, there's a lack of foresight here. There's a, a three of wands reversed. It's a lack of foresight, wasted time. Somebody has been wasting a lot of time. Um, they've missed an opportunity and perhaps now they're just deciding to uh, take a new opportunity for a partnership. There is love here with the Two of Cups. This does have to do with a partnership. Somebody um, may be receiving a message about a partner that they don't expect. This is being caught off guard. Somebody's going to be caught off guard. Maybe they're caught off guard by a new partnership that they are completely unprepared for. Uh, refusing to take a new approach, but now taking action. Somebody is about to take action. They're about to do whatever it takes. They've, they've been reluctant. They've been reluctant maybe because they were sacrificing themselves for something else. You know, maybe they, I mean, the Heyman reverse is the first card. This is somebody that was struggling. They were struggling with change, okay? Struggling with opening up. So, but I do believe that we have somebody here that may be angry. They may be upset. They, they've been watching. They've been, maybe they've been watching their partner move away. They've been watching their partner um, let them go, something like that. Now there's a, there's a, a will. Okay, we got somebody here that is finding their willpower to take action. Um, they're going to be taking action. Um, as above, so below. This is uh, taking action to bring success. Going to do something. This is a doer. Somebody's about to do something that they were reluctant to do. They were reluctant to do. Uh, three of Wands reversed. That, that is lack of foresight, unprepared, wasted time. Somebody's been wasting time. They have been. Um, but I feel like there, there's going to be some sort of message that is coming or some sort of communication that comes that maybe they've received a, uh, a message or they've seen something. Maybe they've been watching from behind the scenes and they've seen something that they don't like, which spurs them into action. Whatever's happening, action is about to be taken. Uh, Six of Swords reversed, re re refusing to take a new approach. Two of Swords, torn in two different directions. Somebody's also been held back. They've been held back by fear, restricting themselves, blocking their emotions. Um, but I feel like we have an awakening here. It's almost like a wake-up call with the Magician card. Somebody getting a wake-up call. We have somebody here that has been in their thoughts. They've been very troubled, and it feels like they're angry. They're angry and because they, they've been torn in two different directions, you know. They're angry, angry about a partnership. Maybe, maybe they've missed an opportunity, you know. Maybe the partnership has slipped away because of their uh, lack of ability to communicate or uh, move forward. Amen, reverse. That is letting go. I feel like we have somebody here that is letting go. They're maybe letting go of a partnership. Uh, because they have another ship, you know, there's another ship that is sailing away. There is a ship that is sailing away. It's like somebody got what they asked for, but they didn't take it, and now it's sailing away.
and somebody may want to stop it from sailing it's obviously still right there but they may want to, they may be taking action to stop it from sailing you know to stop it from leaving We have an individual here that is very curious. They're very curious about love or a partnership. They've been, I don't know if they've been spying or watching or whatever. They're very curious. They don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. And I feel like they, the thing is, is that they've been uh, reluctant to change. Maybe they were surrendering or sacrificing themselves for another partnership, you know. Definitely torn, torn in two different directions, held back held back, blocking emotions, staying, staying in a troubled situation, wasting time, not seeing the opportunity. Somebody didn't see the opportunity or they missed an opportunity. And it feels like now they got this a wake up call, you know, got this wake up call. I feel like, or they may have even ignored the opportunity. They may have just been like, hey, I'm just going to ignore this. I'm just going to ignore, the, ignore this, this opportunity, you know. Definitely stubborn. Very stubborn, sacrificing, unwilling to look at things from a new perspective. But angry at the same time because the opportunity is, is leaving, right? It's leaving. Five of Pentacles reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed is a turning point, seeing improvements, uh, needing help, asking for help, receiving help, uh, coming out of that victim mentality, accepting it, accepting something. Page of Pentacles reversed, however, is not interested, not interested in commitment. Somebody may not be interested in accepting help or, or something like that. Maybe we have somebody here that is not interested in commitment. I said that. They're not. That's, this is somebody that's not willing to put in the work. They, they, uh, well, fives are struggle, struggling, struggling with starting over. We have somebody here that is struggling with starting over. They're struggling. They're struggling with uh, accepting help. Page of Pentacles reversed. Reluctant to start over. Reluctant to take on a new avenue. To go through a new doorway. Maybe there's fear of abandonment. Fear of, of being rejected. Fear of failure. But there is help available. There is help available. I mean, there's an opportunity for success here. If somebody is willing to shed the old to bring in the new, that's what the magician is. There's a, there's a need to focus on the future with the Three of Wands, even if it's in reverse. Stop. Don't let your opportunities sail away because of fear. Two of, two of Swords is fear. It is. It's held back by fear. And needing to make a choice, you know, that... If you want to be successful, you can be successful. All it takes is hard work. I mean, if you if you put in the work, you're going to be successful. If you're willing to start over, if you're willing to let go of the old, you know, that is causing you so much trouble because the, the old that's causing so much trouble is a six of swords reverse. You have to remove yourself from that situation that is so dark and dreary and uh, rough, okay? We got somebody here that has been staying in a rough situation, sacrificing themselves needlessly, you know, maybe it's because of their ego. The hey man is a card of ego. It is. It's pride is in the way, trying to, you know... And just like, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Well, you can only wait for so long. It's, but people can only wait for so long before the ship sails. You know, you're not, you can't expect somebody to wait forever. You know, you can't. People aren't going to wait forever. It's just, it's not even practical. So anyhow, um, I do think that we have somebody here that is getting some sort of a wake-up call. They are in regards to a partnership. Perhaps the, perhaps the ship is sailing because, you know, I just, this is like my second daily. The other one I did, somebody's not taking action. So there's a sudden departure. And this is very similar. So anyhow, um, direct communication to a partner Somebody's going to be making direct communication to a partner. They have been 
troubled. They have been troubled. They have been in denial or they've been blocking their feelings or they have been not looking for a commitment or not interested in helping or something like that. But there's some sort of taking action with the magician card that is action so action is about to be taken in regards to a partnership because the two of swords is right under it somebody is looking at something they're looking at somebody that has more than one option they are and they've been reluctant they have been reluctant to communicate or reluctant to you know focus on it because maybe they were trying to prove a point or they were committed to another partnership already. I feel like we have some enlightenment or a wake up call or something. Judgment. That is a wake up call. That is a wake up call. Judgment, making a life-changing decision, accepting the truth, speaking the truth. There is some truth that's going to be revealed. Get prepared. Seriously, get prepared. Somebody's about to speak some sort of truth. They're making a judgment call. They are ready to be judged. They're ready to be held accountable. They're ready, to, they're ready for a new life. They're ready to accept. This is the end of some sort of hardship as well because judgment is right next to the Five of Pentacles reversed. The Five of Pentacles is abandonment, it is neglect, it is financial hardship. Judgment is an ending, it's a final, it's final, it's final, it's a final verdict, okay? It's, it's final, it's final. I don't know if there's a child here that even has been neglected. And I know that's a completely different story. But we have the Page of Pentacles reversed next to the Five of Pentacles reversed in judgment. Okay, there we could have a judge that is removing a neglected child from a situation. There could be some punishment here as well with the hangman reversed. There's karma. Somebody has been getting karma in the in the in their purse in their pocketbook, but that five of pentacles and the page of pentacles reversed is like a project or you know a bank account. Uh, not because the page of pentacles is a project and the five of pentacles is money. It's hardship. Some and the judgment is karma. So karma is is really hitting somebody in a situation that they thought was going to be prosperous. Prosperous. It's like they're not getting the prosperity because of karma. Lack of integrity, page of pentacles reversed. So somebody hasn't been acting with integrity. Uh, karma never loses an address. Somebody is losing an opportunity because that's their karma. Because they're losing an opportunity. Somebody is losing a golden opportunity. They are. They 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 don't they don't they didn't see it. They they didn't. They didn't see the opportunity. That's the three of wands reverse. Somebody did. They they didn't see an opportunity for financial success, and now it's slipping away. Because they didn't take action. But it's, it's action time with the magician. The magician takes action to bring success. Get prepared for somebody. to Maybe they're going to wake up. Maybe somebody's going to wake up. They're going to get some sort of wake, go through some sort of awakening. Blocking the truth. Somebody's been blocking their emotions. They've been in denial. They've been staying in a situation that is very rough, very rough. 
and they're angry and things are not getting better. And their ship is sailing because in order to bring success, you have to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. It's like this. It's like you can't be married and where's my, where's my next partner? Where's my next partner? You get karma for that. You have to, you have to be separated first. That's just an example. I mean, you have to be moved out first. You have to be completely separated. That's just an example. We got somebody here that is building their own karma by not acting with integrity. Page of Pentacles reversed. That's not integrity. Not doing the right thing. So they're having financial setbacks, extreme. It's like total ruin. Five of Pentacles reverse, extreme total ruin. That's karma. No, no projects taking off, no money coming in, money falling away. I mean, all kinds of costs. That's karma. It's because we have somebody here that is in denial. They're reluctant to take a new approach. sacrificing themselves needlessly, hanging on to a partnership that is very troubled and it feels like they it feels like they want another opportunity or they want another op they want another partnership but they have to take action to get it. You know, you have to move away. Six of Swords right next to that magician. You have to move and the three of wands reverse. You have to go. You have to you have to. You can't stay put in that turbulent situation to have the success that you're asking for. Somebody is blocking, okay, blocking their own success by staying put. So, I mean, that karma sees everything. Karma sees everything, okay? You, you, you have to act with integrity. You've got to do the right thing. You've got to make a right judgment call. You, you, can't, you can't deceive, right? You can't deceive. And I know that people don't want to hear it. Missing an opportunity. The opportunity is sailing away because we have somebody here that needs to take action right now. They need to take the blindfold up, off. They need to stand up and they need to move away from the turbulence, okay? They need to move away from whatever it is that they're hanging on to so that they can have the success that they're trying to manifest. Anyhow, I do believe there is some sort of truth that is coming out or somebody is going get, to get a wake-up call or an epiphany. Okay, they may get an epiphany that, you know, it, it's time to go after success. i got to take action. i got to stop wasting my time. i got to let go. Four of Cups on the bottom. Or I just cut it to the Four of Cups. That is a, un, that's, that's missing an opportunity, ignoring an opportunity for love. Somebody is ignoring an opportunity for love because they are wasting time hanging on to something probably for financial reasons. Things are not going to get better. You have to remove yourself from a false sense of security. You can't avoid it. Things are going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. This is the tower reverse, a painful choice. It's a permanent loss. It is, it's a permanent loss. It's, 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 uh, you can't avoid it. If it's if it's the towers here, it's it's a false sense of security. Okay? You have to be honest with yourself. You have to face the disruption. 
And you, we got somebody here that's going to be having a, a, a painful disruption. They are. They are. There could, there's going to be, somebody is probably going to explode, okay? They're probably going to, it's unavoidable. There's an unavoidable uh, crash of a foundation that isn't stable. It's not, it's not stable. Holding on to it just for financial reasons, it can only last for so long. This is a physical or mental collapse. It's a physical collapse, I believe. So I do believe that we have somebody here. Things or the tower is going to collapse. Something is a there's a foundation that is about to crumble and it is going to crumble hard. It's crumbling right now because it's not based on truths. It's not based on uh, integrity. It's built on a false sense of security. So there's going to be all kinds of costs that keep happening until somebody makes the right judgment call to remove themselves from the false sense of security. Punishment. Hangman is re reverses punishment. Karma. Total ruin. Somebody is in an unhealthy relationship where there's no success, but they're staying there because it's they feel like it's safe. They feel like it's financially stable. It ain't. And there's another opportunity here for a partnership that, you know, could bring them ease. But this person is, is unwilling. They are unwilling to change. Very stubborn. Extremely stubborn. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody, maybe maybe at some point this person may wake up. I mean, the judgment is a wake-up call. It is acceptance of the truth. Seeing the truth. Receiving some clarity. Maybe an epiphany. That this isn't stable. And taking action. Somebody's going to be taking action. Ten of Wands up right now. Taking action to prove something. To prove that they can do it. To prove that they're not going to give up. Somebody's going to take action to prove something. They're going to put in a lot of effort to prove that they can do it. Whatever sorry, whatever it is that they can do. Try really, 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 really hard. Somebody's going to try really, 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 really hard. Maybe they're going to try for a, a reconciliation with somebody that they let go. Maybe they get some sort of wake up call, some sort of epiphany that this is what they got to do. Somebody's about to receive a message that probably uh, catches them off guard from an individual that made a poor judgment call. Maybe they need help now, I don't know. Good luck. <laughs>